he might be hurt. He might be sad and he might feel betrayed. betrayed. But you better feel motivated. I mean, this year is he's fighting for his life as a starting quarterback for the Giants, if not in the whole NFL. Yeah, of course. Like, this is his chance. And I don't want to hear any sob stories. Okay, they're looking at somebody else. You're not playing well. The, the six games you played last year, you had two touchdowns, six interceptions for $40 million. All right? So I don't want to hear, oh, my, they're actually looking at my replacement? Yeah, they're looking at your replacement. So go out there and put your nose to the yeah. grindstone and, and be motivated. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't think he's a player of the caliber that deserves job security. Right. I mean, I know right. that sounds mean. Like, it just as from a football player's perspective, he's not good enough. To have real job security. That's just how it works. Like, yeah, since so. post his rookie sure. year. So I don't really hold last year against him that much because he suffered two significant injuries. But And the the only reason he would feel like he has job security is because the team was foolish enough to give him that contract. But it be, because your agent did a good job, it doesn't mean years. you actually it works longer than a year. Since his rookie year, he has played 47 games. In those 47 games... He averages 200 yards passing, has 38 touchdowns in passing in 47 games and 41 combined interceptions and lost fumbles. Not total fumbles, lost fumbles. That's not a player that ever should be like, well, they, I don't have to it's worry about them bringing <laughs> someone in. And here's the thing. Even though they didn't, because the little stuff I've seen from Hard Knocks, it sure seemed like Dable liked Caleb. Like Drake, mm -hmm. like Jaden, like w was interested in these quarterbacks. And that wasn't just because he likes those quarterbacks. I think it's because he's interested in seeing how his offense would look in New York with anyone other than Daniel Jones potentially, which is why this John Schneider quote meant something to me when they lost Drew Locke and he said, they basically yeah. sold him on the opportunity to compete to be the starter. He looked at Baker Mayfield's opportunity last year and felt this could be something similar. Yeah. I, now, I, some people were like, oh, that was John Schneider being messy, trying to... John Schneider doesn't gain much by the Giants having... In, yeah. They're not in the same division, you know what I mean? Like they, And so, I and Daniel Jeremiah, shortly after the draft, and Daniel Jeremiah is as locked in to anything, and I know this because Dusty talks to me about him almost every day. Um... <laughs> Daniel Jeremiah <laughs> said, as just a throwaway line on a post-draft podcast, the Giants weren't just weighing that second crop of quarterbacks after the top three, the Bo Nix, right. J.J. McCarthy, whatever, versus Daniel Jones. They were weighing them against Drew Locke, which tells me I think that's a real competition in New York between Daniel Jones and Drew Locke. So whether he, I guess he's happy they didn't trade for Jane Daniels, but I think it's possible Drew Locke starts for the New York Giants. From day one? I think it's possible. Wow. So he balls playing with Dimes Dime should get the yeah. shot. Yes. Because of the money he's making. Well, now he's got Malik Neighbors. Yeah, he, he should get the field. shot, but short leash. Uh-oh. Now, there was rumors from Bart Scott that he actually just meant golfing. I think he did. I don't. Uh, Schefter saying here's a statement from Devontae's agents about trade requests or just moving on from the Raiders. This is baseless, unfounded speculation, and Devontae is expected to be with the Raiders as there has been absolutely no trade talk, period. Doth protest too loudly. <laughs> Bro, should the Jets go all in for Devontae? Look, I don't think they can get him, all right, at least not to start the season. But, yes, they should try. They're already all in, okay? It, this is in their minds. Now, none of us think they're going to reach the Super Bowl. You might. In their minds, they are Super Bowl or bust. They does, really does are. Does that make if, – if you think you're Super Bowl or bust, are you? I mean, not really. <laughs> but their, their playoffs are bust, that's for sure. Okay. Their playoffs are bust. My point is this. You have a 40-year-old quarterback. So add more you old guys. You bolstered your offense. Yes. Yes. No, you, look, you had a 40-year-old quarterback. Yeah. You bolstered your offensive line with a 33-year-old Tyron Smith who's injury prone. All right? If you don't make the playoffs at least this year, you're probably your whole staff is probably going to be new. They're probably all getting fired. This is not a five-year plan. It ain't even a two-year plan. 
Go for it. So this is. I'm saying the future be darn. But, that, but that's why Go the Jets will always like be the Jets because it moves like that. Wilds, you said something interesting. What are they he's, building? Look, for? He's not that old. Okay, so Devontae's 31. He turns 32 this season. Sure. How? Okay. How many wide receivers in the league last year, 32 or older, do you think had 100 yards total? Not in the game. Total. Let me go through the list. Just give it a guess. Yeah. Give no, me a number. I, I, you're not going to get me. But I'm the, get would you think hold, that that, that hold, go ahead, let me, Okay, I'm just going to tell you. That's fine. I'm the, still going. The answers, I'm going through the AFC stuff. <laughs> the answer is one. Oh. Adam Thielen. That's it. And so what, I know what age was that? 30, 32. You don't older. think that's going to start no. changing as guys are in well, better I, shape I mean, than last year? Last year is the most recent year we have. And the point that I am making is I by the way, I think Devontae will be very good this year. I think he'll be very good this year on whatever team he's on. But he probably, at best, has two more excellent years left. Ooh, it's, wow. That's and, Who and, cares? And, yeah, why shouldn't they go for it? Should, because, they should build for the future? Rogers they got two more years, too. Yeah, there, is, there, is, there has to be a happy medium between we are going for it and we are liquidating all of our retirement to, to go on a, a, a sweet vacation. Like there is, they, 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 you cannot put more eggs into the 40-year-old quarterback coming off a torn Achilles coached by Bob Sala basket. You have to leave something no. for oh. the... The reason we're going oh, on the vacation the is because analogy. the marriage is in the, trouble. Well, and if we don't go on this vacation, right. we uh, might uh, not but, survive. But, but, Brew, That's I, what they're doing. Then why... Then, so why so should they trade for Brandon Ayuk? Should they? Should the Jets? Like, what are the we? The Jets talking? should go. They have the, two they years. Try to they're on the Brady they Bucks can. plan. The, yes. All in... Uh oh, we're in cap hell. Yep. What are we gonna do? Wow, the bank show. Right. We got a deal. The, and look at we clawed our way up. Years, let me, hold on, let me respond to that real quick. You know what the Bucks with Brady never did? Trade a first round pick for an old player. They they spent money. They did salary cap stuff. They already traded significant draft capital for the quarterback. They then went out and got Mike Williams. Everybody loves Garrett Wilson. The ESPN coaches we'll called him. him the 13th best receiver in football, but they have the amazing skill position group. I understand. And now we're going to trade more draft capital. Yes, trade everything. Okay. That's the a, Bucks, Brady, that's who do you want? Well, I want to run my offense. Deal. That's, How about you have wide receiver? Yeah, I want Antonio that Brown. That didn't Bronx. cost them draft picks, bro. I don't care. Go so, for what it. are the Jets draft Go picks doing? Go for it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.